Hey guys, it's Amy, and as some of you amateur or professional moon watchers might know, very strange things are sometimes seen to happen on the moon's surface, like lights and weird colors. So today on Vintage Space, we are talking about Project Moonblink. These odd temporary changes to the moon's surface are called transient lunar phenomena. They can last between a number of minutes to a number of hours, and they can be as small as a few feet across to a number of miles across. And they vary. Sometimes it is seen as a bright spot, a temporary brightening of a specific area. Sometimes an area takes on a colored hue, like a reddish or brownish, or sometimes blue or violet tone. And sometimes it looks like the area is temporarily covered in clouds. Now, these are not new phenomena. In 1968, NASA published a report that chronicled over 500 observed changes to the moon's surface dating back to the year 1540, so before we even had really good telescopes to start looking at the moon in detail. Instances of transient lunar phenomena only increased in the 1950s and 60s as NASA was preparing to land men on the moon, and so began a project to investigate what exactly might be happening when these strange changes of brightness and color happen on the moon's surface. On June 1st of 1965, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center contracted the Trident Engineering Associates to build and use an apparatus to detect and measure occurrences of these weird events on the moon. The result? was Project Moonblink. The idea behind the Moonblink apparatus is that the human eye is very good at detecting movement against a static image. This is how Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto using an instrument called a Blink Comparator. He took two images of the same portion of the sky, put them in the Blink Comparator, and had them alternate rapidly in front of his eyes. He saw one dot moving against the unmoving dots in the two images of the fixed stars and realized that that moving dot had to be a planet. The moon blink detector was attached to a telescope such that the telescopic image was intercepted by alternating red and blue filters alternating at a rate of about 120 times each minute. The idea was that as the image passed through the filters, any change in color at either end of the visible light spectrum would appear as a blink to the human eye. The eye would be drawn to that spot, and the observer would be able to hone in on the event. Trident installed 11 detectors at observatories around the country and linked them with the Moonblink hotline. This was basically a conference line so that if one observer at one observatory found an interesting thing happening on the moon, he could call all the other observatories and get them looking at the same spot as well. This would have more eyes on the event, confirming that it was in fact a transient lunar phenomena and gathering different data points, including heat through infrared sensors and potentially color information using different filters. Some observatories were even set up to photograph these transient lunar phenomena. Sadly, the experiment wasn't all that successful. Trident found that the Moonblink detector could only find changes of brightness that were about 2% brighter than the background, so not all that significant. Not to mention, because the project was staffed largely with volunteers, they found that many people got pretty bored pretty quickly, and ultimately there were only one or two observers at each station at any given time, and that wasn't around the clock. But the project wasn't a total loss. Observers using Moonblink detectors found nine significant events in about two years. Trident ultimately recommended to NASA that if it wanted to figure out exactly what these transient lunar phenomena were, it would have to start a program with paid workers using Moonblink detectors at various observatories around the clock, or at least when the moon is in sight. Otherwise, there was just no way to get really good data. And almost half a century later, observers are still seeing these odd brightnesses and flashes of color on the moon's surface. There are a couple of possible explanations for this identified in the 1960s that are still thought to be true today. It's possible the brightness and colors seen during transient lunar phenomena are coming from external causes, like solar particles exciting surface elements and gases. Or they could be rooted in subsurface outgassing due to cracks in the rocks that make up the moon's surface. Either way, transient lunar phenomena do still happen, although not all that frequently, and astronomers do still observe them, but we still don't totally know what they are. So have any of you moon observers out there seen a transient lunar phenomena? Let me know in the comments below what you think might be happening to give the moon these occasional changes of brightness and color. And of course, if you have other questions or ideas for future episodes, leave those in the comments below as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for daily Vintage Space content, and with new videos going up right here every single week, subscribe so you never miss an episode.